Looks like we have a new all-in-one AI platform, an end-to-end -end solution for developers to create, test, and deploy AI. Allow me to introduce Edin AI. This is a unified platform that provides access to the best AI models, a powerful workflow builder, and advanced monitoring tools, all in one place. With Edin AI, you can get access to 100 plus AI models through a single API with a unified billing. Plus, you can seamlessly connect different types of data sources and design AI workflows using an intuitive drag and drop interface or an SDK. On top of that, they have different performance monitoring and tracking tools, which are built into the platform, giving you a complete visible output on what your AI solution is running on. Now with Edin AI, you can automate anything, build models, even build full stack applications, as well as optimize AI workflows effortlessly, all with the user-friendly UI. Just take a look at this. Instead of relying on a single model, you can actually combine outputs from different APIs to cross-validate results, as well as improve precision. And this is something that you can actually do with all the different AI APIs that you can access in different categories from document parsing, generative image, speech, text, as well as videos. Now, for example, if you take a look at document parsing, you can see that this is going to be a great way for you to get the ability to cross-validate results from different models. You can see this with this example response over here. This is where they used base64 as well as other different types of models for you to cross-validate results with these different models. And essentially, this will help you optimize performance and it's a method that you can use for all of these different other categories. Not only that, you have the ability to also combine and use AI technologies where you can simply go ahead and create various sorts of things in different areas. Now, this is where you can use their drag and drop builder and select different types of templates for you to build almost anything, whether that's something that will help you build a full stack app or something that can help you with generation in terms of images or even videos. And this is essentially what we're going to be taking a look at today. So what I want you guys to do is head over to Edin AI and I want you guys to click on get started for free. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. After you sign up, you're going to be then sent over to the main dashboard of Edin AI. Within the first section, you have the AI APIs. And like we mentioned before, these are direct access to different models, as well as various APIs across different categories from text, image, speech, OCR. And this is all through a single API. You can call an API, get a result, and it's simple and super efficient. For example, we can go over to something like a document question answering, and you can see that you can get an API quick start over here on how you can implement it. There's a live testing section in which you can test it out and you can also get results over here. So I've actually uploaded my own document and I was able to launch it and I got the results already from Amazon as well as Extracta. So you can see that you can also see the results over here. In the same manner, you can do it with all of these different types of categories and essentially you're going to get a better idea of which API to use and it allows you to get a direct access to different models across different categories. Then you have the workflows. This is a no code drag and drop tool that will let you combine multiple AI APIs into a single workflow. This allows multiple model orchestration for better accuracy and automation as well as a streamlined process without coding. And the best part is, is that there's a good chance that you won't even need to build your own workflow because there's so many different templates that you can easily go ahead and adopt. For example, there's a writing feedback assistant and you can go ahead and use this template for you to easily build out your workflow. There is the ability to evaluate and deploy it. You have the API and live testing section like we saw within the AI APIs. And then you have the builder. This is the drag and drop builder that will efficiently help you build out any sort of workflow. You can actually work with Edin AI's Copilot to build out different nodes and you can go ahead and actually run this workflow within the live testing area. You can go ahead and paste in uh, whatever text that you would need feedback on 
Just to showcase the test, I have placed in a random essay on the importance of technology in education. And you can see right now, it is running the text uh, evaluator. So we can see right now, it is running the spell check. So right now, it is going through this check to help us see if there's any feedback that would be given to improve the text. And there you go. I have it now fully formatted outwards in JSON format and it also has provided the feedback visually and you can see that there's two errors that it was able to point out and it was able to provide me the correct spelling as well as the correct grammar that should be there for my text. Now we're actually going to create our own from scratch but before I even get to that we're going to be showcasing another cool feature of Edin AI which is the ability to go over and build a custom chatbot based off of your own data. To do this, it's super simple. You can go ahead and click on this button to create my first project, give it a name. In this case, we'll name this world of AI chatbot. And then we can go ahead and use the quick start project setting to help us easily get started. We're going to simply go ahead and upload our data. Now, the best part is you have the ability to upload different types of file types. You also have the ability to input text content and content from a URL. After you have uploaded your files, you can then refresh the status to see if it has been succeeded. You can actually take a look at the code snippet where you can actually implement this and embed it into your own app, which is actually really helpful. You can see the project settings of what database it's using, embedding model, as well as the default large language model in this case it's using gpt4 you can also have a bot profile that you can create and in this case you can give it a name and a system prompt in which it can respond towards but now you can actually test this out you can start up a new conversation and we can say uh, what is world of ai and it's going to be able to use the rag technique within the document that i basically provided and you can see it was able to get this response based off of the large document I had uploaded. What's nice is that you also have the flexibility to test this out with different models with, from Grok all the way to OpenAI, Meta, and so many others. So just to showcase how you can create something from scratch, you can simply go ahead and provide a name. I'm going to name it World of AI, and then we're going to go ahead and click on Create Project. And essentially, you can head over to the Builder, and then you can add different sorts of AI features to build out your workflow. So there's so many different types from generative all the way to uh, image as well as video and so many other contents. So you can place down a specific node that you would want and then you can go ahead and add it to your workflow, configure it, give it instructions. And then afterwards, you can test this out within the live testing area. A huge feature is that you have the ability to also bring your own account, meaning that you can use your own API key with different providers. Now, here's a practical way for you to basically build any of your applications with these APIs. This is essentially where you can use these APIs to provide the functionality for your app possibly. So for example, say if you're building something like an image generation model or an image generation app that people can subscribe towards, you can go ahead and add this functionality with the AI API by going over to curl copying this curl request. Then I simply went ahead and opened up my IDE. In this case, I'm using VS Code and I created a next app, which is the template for this next app. And now what we're gonna do is use Klein to help us create this app. And now what I've done is that I've created this prompt that I'm gonna be sending into Klein with the Claude 3.5 Sonnet model to create a modern image generation app that leverages this endpoint. That's where I simply pasted in this curl request and it uses an app router for the API integration. I've also stated all the different uh, API providers or like the different image providers that they can use and it will be listed on the front end. And now we're gonna go ahead and simply send in this request to have it generate the modern uh, image generation app. I kinda had pasted in the wrong API key, but you can see right now it is working on generating this application for us. And once that's finished, I'll simply go ahead and open it up. It looks like our app is now running. We're gonna go over to our local host to see what it has created. And just look at that. This is our AI image generator that was created thanks to Klein using the API that Eden had provided. Now we can go ahead and describe something to create. I'm saying create 
a picture that describes AI. We're going to use the anime style, this resolution, and just one image. And we're going to click on generate. And it looks like the image has been generated. I'm going to need to open this up to see how it looks. And I'm also going to have it fixed so that it actually displays the image. So I actually went along and I actually cleaned up the application so it's a bit easier to use and you can actually read all the fields. We're going to go ahead and generate using the Dolly 3 image. In the back end, I had specified the model I want to use. And now we're going to go ahead and have it create a picture that describes AI. And there we go. We have the first generation over here. We have something that has a robot and it has a chip and it's trying to replicate what artificial intelligence is. So there we go. We have our full stack app fully generated. Now, what's also great is that you can basically combine different APIs, meaning that you can combine different functionalities. You can add something like a background removal into the application that we had created. So in this case, we can go ahead and copy this curl request. And now I can simply go back into Klein and say that I want to use this new functionality of removing the background with this curl request. Here is the endpoint. And now it is working autonomously to add in this feature now. And it looks like it is working. So it has finished adding this new feature and I have went along and I generated an image of a dragon. And I simply clicked on remove background and it was able to remove the sun and the cloud as well as the ground and it only left the dragon. And that's actually pretty amazing. And you can see that it was able to use multiple APIs to help me build out this image application with the help of Eden AI. This is the possibility that you get. The multi API orchestration can easily help you build different sorts of workflows combined with the unified API. You can use different state of the art models, different APIs, and you can construct different workflows all in one single flow. And that's the possibility with Eden AI. And that's about it for today's video on Eden AI. I'm going to leave all the links in the description below so that you can easily get started. But I definitely recommend that you also subscribe to my newsletter, follow me on the Patreon, make sure you follow me on Twitter so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.